Hey folks, ashdaletingsindustry.com. So we've got now a case in front of you. These are the, this is the anti-mortem. So this is the records from before the accident. Normally you'd receive, I mean, whatever information, photographs of the page, of the person. Uh, we've got dental radiographs and we've got charting. The chart may not equal exactly at the same time, time frame because these radiographs may have been taken at the initial visit and then they did a number of treatment and then either the radiographs got misplaced or there was a, an example would be a fire in the building, they lost the other radiographs, water damage, whatever. And this is possibly a corresponding comparison. So what I want you to do is just take a look and see if you can compare the radiographs and, and also the remains. These remains are 30 years old, so not everything's been, they're, for, they're okay to touch by hand. So let me just bring those up for you to compare. So this is some actually right. Maxillary left. Correction, Man, mandibular right. mandibular left. Because the remains are so old, some of the restorations and teeth have actually been fractured off, which is can be comparable to real life. So take a second, uh, pause, determine if that's this is the matching person or not. John, is John Weber this fictitious person, number 13? Okay, so now I've changed remains, so we still have John Weber. Now compare it to this gentleman here. Let me just show you the remains. Right in the shadow, there we go. Now, is this consistent with, is three consistent with John Weber? Well, big picture items we have, if we look at the radiographs on the upper maxillary right, go along, we have a post and core. The shape is similar. Now remember, I just learned this stuff, so I'm not, a, by any means I'm an expert. We just spent six hours reviewing the radiographs in these cases. So we're just doing the basics. We also have what could be considered a metallic restoration, crown restoration. Looks like a crown. There's an endo, I don't know what that is. Some sort of crown, metallic restoration. So that's a good indicator. Also on the mandible, we have an edential space in the anti-mortem. So if this is the left, and then there's a buckle pit there, which is similar to uh, the case here. So we would say that this is a, a positive correlation. Not based on that. That's These are the big things. We look in a little more detail, but and you can do that at your leisure if you pause it and just compare. So that's one case. Let me go grab another one.